broke out a new pair of glasses. These ones. I wonder if you can see. Let me see if it blinds how bad my. See how scratched up these are. Okay. Anyway, they're pretty scratched up. And these ones aren't. Because I haven't worn them, so I'm wearing these ones. These ones are like square, these ones are more round. Halloween. It's Halloween by the way. Marvel shirt kinda goes goes along with Halloween. I'd say. There's a lot of a lot of Marvel Halloween costumes probably, especially nowadays. Tumbler. Is this the tumbler? Yeah, this is the tumbler mug I, I got. It's got a bottle around right the bottom. Sealable top. Victoria Servicia Serv Serviciere Serviceria Modelo Mexico Serviceria Serviceria Made in Mexico HO in Mexico thinking about making food it's a lot of work because yesterday I made uh, Chef Boyer D and I sprayed my cup down it's pretty bad you can see. it's not so bad the cup's not so bad this on the other hand my steel Is gonna, it's gonna require a couple of rounds of probably boiling water, spraying it down, wiping it down. So, I don't know. I'm either gonna make some food or uh, what I'm thinking more about doing. There's a catfish king up the road, and since it is a holiday, I might get catfish king seafood. 
I'm leaning more towards the second option. So we'll see what happens. It's pretty nasty. We got tomato sauce from rounds of SpaghettiOs and Chef Boyer D. Stained on the outside surface of the canister. But we have beer. And we have food down the road. So I'm I'm thinking I'm pretty lazy. I don't know. See how much energy I have. When I'm hungry. Probably won't have too much though. Probably watch a Halloween movie or two, some old classic Halloween specials. I had a Butterfinger for in honor of Halloween. So, I don't know. I might get more candy. I might be all the candy. Drink the rest of the beer I have. Play some video games. Hang out in the van. Basically, it's like I rented a camping spot. 20 bucks a week. Uh, with no hookups. It's basically what's going on. It's, uh, this lady owns this property with an abandoned house with asbestos. She's in a difficult situation where she can't sell the house. She can't find anybody to buy it. Asbestos, I don't know how much it costs to clear out, but I don't know. She said she was looking for like 60 grand. And I definitely would have to get a loan. I don't have, I don't have that much money. <laughs> definitely would have to get a loan in order to do something like that. But regardless, she's looking for ways she can use the property to make money. And this works perfectly as like a campsite. This, uh, part of Texas and Baylor is out in the woods it's like hev heavily wilderness um, and like this whole area where this neighborhood is is there's a lot of woods and like her backyard is basically like a campsite that's basically what I'm doing I'm just parking in this abandoned house where this lady's backyard used to be there's a lot of mosquitoes, depending on where you put the van. It's not as bad as it was last time, but it's cool. Running a lot for like 20 bucks a month versus, or 20 bucks a week, 80 bucks a month versus running a campsite for like hundreds of bucks a month, a week. I don't even know. I think you're going to find like nowhere cheaper than a thousand a month. <coughs> Oh. So it's cool to save money. I can just upload content, do SEO on my phone, figure out what changes I can make to the van after I just made some pretty significant space, spatial, organizational changes, rearranges. Might do some. I was planning on doing a little cleaning up, reorganizing today because I kind of just took stuff and I was like, you know, th I can use this. I, this is like extra. This is, I don't need this. This is something I'm looking to get rid of or sell. And this is something I can use. And I just kind of put, put stuff in the storage unit, put stuff in the, in the van, just kind of like split up stuff very um, lackadaisically not uh you know didn't get down to the nitty gritty of really taking stuff out and reorganizing it just kind of like what's the majority of the stuff in this bin what's the majority of stuff in here you know what's stuff that i most likely can use versus which is what's it what's extra So, we'll see. Definitely, one thing is for sure, definitely more content to come. So, keep watching videos. Hopefully, if 
you don't like them, give me feedback. You don't have to watch them. That's how it works. It would be very unique lifestyle, and I like to make content out of it. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, you know, try to build like a collection of different things that I regularly take content of food, exercise, locations like outdoor locations like hiking, parks. Kind of dropped off from the hiking. Um, I did a lot of that when I started. I might do some, some more hiking, find some spots. <sighs> we'll see. Um, I don't know. Trying to still work out. I've slacked the last week. My body was pretty sore um, after, you know, not working out nearly as much as I used to when I was younger. I've been working out for like five days, like a week pretty pretty consistently and I took the last week off and I haven't really worked out so maybe do something over the next couple days my body feels like it's rejuvenated today yesterday the day before was pretty sore um and I hadn't worked out for about a week so maybe next couple days do something light get back into it do a couple beer beer cur your curls today we'll see but I don't know I didn't do nearly as much SEO as I wanted to over the last couple of days I've been really heavy on the mobile gaming content um, you know I see tremendous benefit for growth in the future for that kind of content so it's kind of fortunate that it's way more convenient for me to do mobile gaming versus console gaming on the road um, mobile gaming, I think, is you know probably going to grow uh, a lot more in comparison, percentage-wise, versus console gaming over the next few, um, you know, next three to five years. And you know, I upload content to a platform known as YouTube, which is also probably going to grow a tremendous amount over the next three to five years. So, you got two a combined mobile gaming youtube content two combined platforms industries tremendous growth potential looking forward to the future we'll see